Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a really easy everyday makeup tutorial and I'm using Makeup Geek Cosmetics, which is a brand that I haven't featured really before here on my channel, so I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys some of their really great products. I definitely feel like it is an underrated makeup brand because they have really high quality stuff and it was actually started by Marlena, who is another YouTuber here. She's been on YouTube for such a long time. I remember when I very first started doing YouTube videos like eight years ago, she actually was on YouTube. So so she's definitely been around for a long time and she started her own makeup line. So I love that a blogger actually created this makeup line because I feel like we're the ones who really know the most about makeup and really know what people want because we're so connected with all of you guys and our viewers so we can really listen to you and make products that you guys really want to see. So I really love this makeup brand. I've definitely fallen in love with these products that I've been testing out recently. So for this look, I'm gonna be using the In The Nude palette, which is a great warm neutral palette. It has a good range of shades in here. It also has a good range of finishes, everything from foiled shadows to matte to satin finishes. So I really like this palette. I think it's great for every day, and it's definitely something that would be good for back to school or if you're in college or just wearing every day to work. I feel like it's great, but you could really get some dramatic looks out of this as well for nighttime. To first start out, I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm using my small precision round brush from Sigma to apply this all over my eye. This is gonna help create a nice neutral base. So now with the In The Nude palette, I'm first gonna be picking up the foiled rose gold shade called In The Spotlight. I'm just using a Sigma eye shading brush to apply this all over my lid. Now I'm picking up the shade called So Pale, which is just a really nice satin finish, really light skin tone color, and this is great for the inner corner. This would look so pretty all over the lid as well. I just wanted to keep this a little bit warm, so that's why I went with the rose gold on the eye. Now I'm using a Sigma blending brush, and I'm just picking up this neutral color called Creased, and this is a perfect crease color because it's a great transition color, but it does have a little bit of that warm tone to it, so it's a very warm brown. There's also a cooler brown on the other side of this palette, but I went with the warmer one for this look. They actually have a warm dark brown and then a cooler brown on the other side too, so that's great, there's a good range. I just went all throughout my crease with this. Now for my brow bone color, I'm just picking up the shade called Rapunzel, which is just a great satin finish brow bone color. It's perfect, goes with anyone's skin tone, I feel like. Now to deepen that up a little bit, I'm using a pointed crease brush and I'm just gonna pick up the shade called Dark Roast and I'm just gonna be applying this to the outer V. I just wanted to deepen up the look a little bit, but you could skip this if you don't want it to be too dramatic. Now onto the lower lash line, I'm just taking a Sigma pencil brush and I'm gonna be mixing the shades Creased and Dark Roast and just going on my lower lash line. I'm gonna focus that on the outer portion. Now onto eyeliner. I'm using my Beauty For Real Eyeline 24-7 Eyeliner Pencil in Whiskey. I'm actually gonna be using a Sigma Flat Definer brush. This is the E15. This is great for applying eyeliner. I just kind of rub the brush on the tip of the eyeliner to get the product on there. And this creates a very soft look on your eyes. I love using this for like wedding makeup and stuff and just any everyday look. And it's so quick and easy to apply. So you don't have to fuss with like a gel or a liquid liner just for an everyday look and it looks very soft. I also took it onto my lower lash line as well. And I love the brown too, because it keeps it very warm and less harsh for daytime. Now that my liner is done, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and use my favorite mascara, the Maybelline Lash Sensational one. Now it's finally on to bronzer. I'm using the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Sun Kissed Fair Skin Bronzer. They have different shades of these, but I really love this bronzer for contouring because it's matte. It blends so smoothly, and I feel like I don't even have to put a lot of effort. I'm just using my Sigma Soft Angle Contour Brush, which just flawlessly applies any contour color to your cheekbones. I also took it up onto my forehead and on the sides of my nose a little bit. So now for blush, this is one that I've had for quite a while. This is the Makeup Geek Cosmetics. This is the XOXO blush, and it's just a really pretty bright pink. I wanted to add a little bit of color to this look since it's very neutral. So I just use my Sigma Angle Contour Brush to apply this to my cheeks, and it just blends out so flawlessly. This blush also lasts a really long time. 
So now for my favorite part, which is highlighter. I'm using their Luster Highlighter. This highlighter is so crazy. I mean, I talked about this on my Instagram story, but it actually doesn't even look shimmery in the pan, but once you put it on your cheekbones, it is just so amazing. It gives off the most pretty iridescent glow to your skin, and it's definitely like a champagne color. It looks a lot darker in the pan than it looks on your face. It's just very shimmery. Now finally onto lips, I'm using the Makeup Geek Plush Matte Lip Color. This one is in Beach Bunny. This is such an interesting color because it's very warm. It looks kind of neutral at the same time, but then you can also make it dramatic like a dark nude or something. But it's really nice because it's a long wearing, it's matte, but it does not feel drying on your lips. It's really amazing. It's probably one of the best matte lipsticks that I've ever tried out. Lasted a really long time on my lips. I wore this throughout work and it stayed on. And it also faded really nicely. It didn't start to flake or wear away just like on the inside. It just faded really nicely to where I didn't look crazy when it started to come off. I also recently got another plush cream and I don't think this is a matte one. This one's in Jet Setter and this is a really pretty dark nude color. Um, so I'll be trying this out probably in my next look from them, but um, I believe this is just a cream, so it's not gonna be that matte finish, but this one's really pretty too. So that is it for this easy makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it's something you could definitely wear every day and you could spruce it up for night, or you could even tone it down by skipping that crease color and just going a little bit lighter on the highlighter than I did for the daytime. So I'm gonna have photos of this look on the blog post that goes with this video. It also have links to all these products if you're interested in getting any of them. Definitely also check out the Makeup Geek website. They have some great tutorials on there and forums, and it's just a great community on there. And then of course the products are on there as well. So I'll have their link down below. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below of this makeup look. And if you've tried any of their stuff, I would love to hear what your favorite products are. I would love to try some of their face products and stuff like foundation. So I'd love to hear your opinions on that. Thank you all so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye everyone.